and Columbus takes the lead 1-0. And we're tied 1-0. Valentin Noel gives Austin the lead. Austin wanting more across the base of goal, and another one is in. Austin FC2, MLS Next Pro Champions of 2023. Austin FC2, your new 2023 MLS Next Pro Champion. Julia, we talked at length about how much went into this game. There was so much to be excited about in terms of the way these two teams played. And for Austin FC2 to come out on the road as champions, I mean, this one was chippy and electric from the very first whistle. And they did exactly what they've been doing throughout this whole playoff run. Winning on the road, when the chips are against them, they show a way to come together and deliver some amazing football. The goals that they scored, the resiliency that they showed to go down in the second half with the penalty kick call against Toure, this is, these are not easy things to come back from. Some exciting stuff. All season long, Brett Utley talked to us about how close this group is, how much they love each other, and when that final whistle blew, the sheer joy on their faces. Coach Utley jumping up and down with his staff. You could tell how much this one meant to them. Absolutely, and it wasn't just the final whistle. After every single time they hit the back of the net, Coach Utley and his, his technical staff, they were hugging each other, jumping as if they just hit the absolute lotto. This is what you want to see in a final. You want to see some heartbreak, unfortunately, but you want to see triumph. The atmosphere was unbelievable, and our Samara Perez has even more. Thank you, Michelle. The atmosphere here at Lower Dotcom Field was electric. If last year was good, this year was even better. The Capybaras had their drums out banging all night, and a small but mighty group of Austin FC2 fans was here supporting their Verdos. Now, let's go take a look at how the first half played out. Who's going to impose their identity on the opposition? Because you, can, you can't win a cup final in the first 15 minutes, but you can definitely let it get away from you. Austin. This is Habrun. Taps to Fusan. Sends it into the box. Bunbury right in front of goal. But Damian Loss attacks with Fury and handles business on the first attempt for Columbus. Pocket of Holstead as we take a look at this chance for Columbus crew. But look at this run from Bunbury. He just slashes across Matsafer and Loss just as Rayo had space. Leaves it for Fusan. The recovery ball back. Fusan! And Damian Loss does it again. As Roberts comes into the interior, flicks it on to Rayo and Fusan. This ball is taken away. Sebastian Pino into the path of Rodriguez. Vela, a shot stopped. There's spillage, but Stanislav Slopkis figures it out and finds the ball. This game sets up. Austin FC has an overload centrally. I do think this ball is meant to play for Noel. It's a good first touch to give credit for Vela, but doesn't get around it enough as he would like. Big time save from Lopez. Javon Rayo has space and opportunity for Columbus. Rayo, Roberts taps it for Holstead. OMG, Damian Loss line because if you initially break it you just see the real estate to play between lines you have to give credit to Roberts as he comes centrally he pulls out Asensio and that opens up a big gaping hole on this far end what a massive save this is from Damian Laws you see how quickly he comes off his line it will be Roberts lifts into the box headed away for a moment Habrun will head it towards Micheletto a rocket is stopped by Damian Loss 38 minutes in, this ball comes out and falls kindly to Marco Micheletta. You need to hit across it. Yaro Hunga, out to Rodriguez. Potentially the last action of the half. Rodriguez just misses from distance. Left-footed by Trey, the ability just to beat and skip by individual markers. Just tattoos this thing, head down, laces through it. Technique on display. Lapkus does just enough to punch it off of his crossbar. And the first half comes to a close. 
Julio, we know the best players show up in the biggest moments. The goalkeeper of the year did just that. Damian lost with an incredible save there early in the first half. Yeah, they really do shine bright. The diamonds, they really come into fruition here in the finals. And what you're talking about in terms of Damian Loss is his ability to put the team on his back. The first save that he makes at that near post kick save, this is unbelievable stuff. As a former defender, I had all the confidence in the world whenever I could play in front of a keeper just like Loss. And on the other end of the pitch, we have to talk about Stanislav Zulevkis. The young buck showed up again, had a crucial save there right in the final dying minutes of the first half. Yeah, for me, that was a defining moment as far as confidence is concerned for the home side. The young lap kiss really makes that tip save. It hits the bar, gives them a lot of confidence to keep the scoreline zero going into halftime. Well, after those two massive saves, we ended the first half scoreless to set up a wild second. We begin half number two of MLS Next Pro. We saw this in their last match versus Colorado. That first 15 minutes of the half, they had multiple chances, could not find their goal. This is David Rodriguez locked away by Lopkis once again. Magroon once again plays past with Fuson right to Bunbury, spinning and twirling. No shot from him. Now. A foul and a spot kick upcoming for Columbus. He provides the width and he just challenges opposition. Very good 1v1. You just start to see the right leg of Toure just gets caught in the cookie jar here. Great angle here. Catches the left foot of Fusan. He goes down. He makes the most of it right in front of our center. If you're Toure in that instance once again, when we have Robert standing over it. Mono Imano, Roberts in loss. Roberts rips the gourds, and Columbus takes the lead 1 0. And then number 10, cool as you would like, straight down the middle, just takes a tiny bit off of it. So he lets Damian Loss dive the wrong way. No chance for the goalkeeper, and it's off to the corner to celebrate. Jacob Berlinson. Clears that cross away. Mateo Bumbery on the ball now. Bumbery on his own. Mateo Bumbery blocked away by Damian Loss in the end. He's going to advance himself. That ball needs to be played into the path. There's no questions whatsoever as he tries to do a little bit too much and overcomplicate it here, Matteo Bunbury. A nice touch from Fadri. Austin might be loose. This is Valentin Noel. Noel pushed from behind and a point to the spot. I'll tell you what, not a lot of contact there. I think Noel just falls on his own. The traffic right in front of Erlingson and Mohammed. No one touches him. He goes down. You see the disbelief on the sub's face. Trying to stop it is Stanislav Lopkis. Ramirez taps it home, and we're tied one all. Or Mohammed. Noel goes down and cool as you would like, much like the conference finals. Eyes on the goalkeeper the whole way. He beat you through combination play or 1v1. He's had a really good second half, Valentino Noel has. And now Austin will look to run off the turnover. Noel towards Fadri, cuts back right to Valentin Noel. Yes, sir! Valentin Noel gives Austin the lead. 2-1. that he's had in this second half, but watch of his movement. The lack thereof, as he understands it's back line for Columbus Cruz retreating. Where's the real estate? Right on top of the D. Fadri picks up his head. He sees the run from the Libra. Plays it right into the path of Valentin Noel, and that's where you want him. Facing towards the goal. Brilliant first touch out of his body, and just ropes this thing into the far post. Terrific goal. Micheletto. Four pass picked up by Asensio. And now Valentin Noel on the ball once again. 
Leaves it for Fadri. Austin wanting more. Across the face of goal. And another one is in. Austin has turned this game on its head. And the Verde and Black lead 3-1. Simple yet efficient here from Fadri. Just a willingness. He's onside. Rogers keeps him on the bottom of your screen, but watch the movement of Pino. You can turn one to three and three into a cup. Austin FC2, MLS Next Pro Champions of 2023. Austin FC2, our newest champions. They caught up with Samara right after the match. Thank you guys. We're now joined by head coach Brett Utley. Head coach, congratulations. Thanks. What does this mean to you coming into uh, MLS Next Pro in your first year and winning the championship? It's, it's pretty remarkable. Um, it's such a team effort, the amount of work everybody does to get the team prepared, to build the team, uh, to help us continue to be successful throughout the course of the season is incredible. Um, honestly, just so proud of everybody and to be part of this group is, is really, really special. There's been so much adversity throughout the season. Um, you know, we won a couple games in the, in the beginning and then in the middle of the season, you know, we lost some games and I think we just picked ourselves up and yeah, we just stayed, stayed very concentrated, focused on the most important thing and that was, you know, winning the final, so yeah. What a night. Congratulations, Thank Damien. You Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. We're going back to you. Thanks so much, Samara. Well, while we didn't get any goals in the first half, they certainly delivered in the second. Thomas Roberts opened scoring with his first goal of the season and at the hands of the goalkeeper of the year. And what a time to get your first goal of the season in the finals. Talked about how the biggest players show up in the biggest moments. He really came alive in that second half. Yeah, that Austin FC side was very unhappy when they saw the penalty earned in their box. But on the other end of the pitch, they earned one of their own. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit of a controversial call, to be honest with you. But you have to give Austin a lot of credit. Rodriguez does a very good job to stay calm. Wrong foots the goalkeeper in Lapkiss. And then it all started to roll downhill for Austin. And the second goal for Austin is the moment of the match where you have Valentin coming in off of that left-hand corner and then hitting an absolute banger top bins. And this is where it all started to shift and the game started to be out of reach for the home side. The third goal, obviously you have a situation where there's an own goal there, but the rest was history, too far out of reach for the home side in Columbus. Yeah, the guys with the best view of the match, our partners in the broadcast booth, we send you upstairs now to James Hadnot and Ricky Lopez Espin. Well, thank you so much, Michelle. Ricky, Austin on this day, they pulled all the right strings, they pushed all the right buttons, and they left victorious. What was the key moment for you in this match? I think it's the halftime talk from Brett Utley. I don't know what he said or what the message was, but tactically, you bring in Fodry, he gives you the ability to be vertical, and then you bring in Valentin Noel centrally, and he just gives you the ability to go and search the game, whether it's pop into the hole, whether it's fill in, that's at secondary number nine, and he was just terrific. That, I think, changed the game and gave Austin the victory here tonight. And of course, that was on the offensive end, allowed them to kind of get forward and find that go-ahead goal. But then what was something they also did defensively that you liked? I had to think box defending, right? Laurent Courtois told us at halftime, we need to have more quality service and more runners, but that's credit to Austin. They were just so good at positioning, winning every 50-50 duel, step, repeat, rotation, everything that Austin has done from the point on, they were terrific here tonight. All right, well, that's it. We're going to get it back down to you, Michelle. Thanks, guys. Jaleel, we've talked about Valentin Noel before. We're going to talk about him again. He was our man of the match for good reason. Yeah, by leaps and bounds, whenever you score a goal like that in a fixture that means this much, you will be the man of the match. Very well deserved. What I loved about his performance is that there was nothing that was going to deter him from impacting this match. Early on, first minute or so, catches a knock to the eye, gets a little bit of treatment, and then battles through every single adverse moment, hits top bins, has every reason to celebrate, and needs extra room in his luggage for that MVP trophy. Our battle scar, battle tested man of the match is standing by with our Samara Perez. Thanks, Michelle. We're joined by MLS Next Pro Cup MVP, Valentin Noel. Valentin, congratulations on the championship, on earning MVP. Talk to us what's going through your mind right now. So much excitement. Uh, you know, it's just like the end of a, of a hard and long season, and it just ends the best way possible. So we're just, we're just so, I'm so proud of this team and, and this club for sure. 
man. What do you take away from this match aside from this scrape you have on your face? Well, it happens. I just got a bad hit, but um, yeah, I feel like it just shows. Uh, it's just a summary of our year. Um, every nothing has been easy this year. Um, we're down a goal. There's like um, yeah, probably like 35 minutes left, and you know. Uh, there was no doubt that we couldn't come back. Uh, this team shows strength, that togetherness that we had um, all season. Uh, it just, you know, we used it one last time during this uh, during this game and came back and win it all. Amazing! Thank you so much. Congratulations! Yeah. You got. It. They're they're waiting Thank for you. you. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you guys. We'll go back to you. Thanks so much, Samara. Austin FC2 led to a 3-1 victory by our man of the match, Valentin Noel. A quick look here at the final stats. Possession-wise, it was pretty even. Shots 14 from Crew 2, only 8 from Austin FC2, but they had the ones that mattered. We know that Crew 2 wanted this win so badly. They wanted to defend their title on their home turf. So this 3-1 loss hurts for them, and we hear how much so from their head coach, Laurent Courtois. The guys gave a lot. Right now they're pretty low. A little bit of regrets leaning one nil and, and getting caught that way. But then no regrets. You try to you try to push and of course you're gonna get exposed. Following the match, we saw the raw emotions from this crew two team. They wanted this win, but Austin FC2, our champions. There were times where this game looked like it was going Crew Two's way, but how quickly things can turn, Jaleel. Absolutely. This is a definite heartbreaker for the home side. They thought that they were doing just enough to get out in front early in the second half. Looked like they were going to repeat in 2023 here at Lower.com Field, but it was all about Austin FC2. When they were able to get that first goal back, the rest is history for them, and you have to give the away side all the credit in the world because when they run away with three unanswered goals, they're the deserved winners. We also have to give some credit to the Austin FC2 fans who showed up out here in cold Columbus, Ohio. They were met by thousands of Capybara fans who crowded Lower.com Field, an atmosphere perfect for a championship match. For Samara Perez, for Janil Alibaba, I'm Michelle Montaigne saying so long from Lower.com Field. We'll see you in 2024 season of MLS Next Pro.